Hi, I'm Larry Black, and today we're looking back. About 20 years ago, I had an idea to get a room filled with country music people, singers, songwriters, put together 30 of them. They love to tell stories. They love to share with each other. And today, they get to share with you. This is Looking Back with Larry Black. Welcome back to Looking Back with Larry Black. When we left each other last time, Jimmy Dickens was on the screen, and he was talking to Bill Anderson. Let's join him there. The fun thing in putting this together and looking back was interesting because you look around that room, and from the very first one we did, Grandpa Jones passed away shortly after we did the first one. Paycheck followed not too long after that. Uh, Bashful Brother Oswald passed away. Yeah, and I'm thinking of it, he'll have to go, uh, that song. Oh, Joe Allison. Joe Allison. Yeah, Joe who wrote Passed that. away yeah. not long after that. And it yeah. was, and as you look at that very first series that yeah. we did, there are 16 of them, and maybe with uh, Kitty and Johnny, there may be more than that now. Wow. But I mean, there's, that, that room was filled with great people, and I'm so glad we got them. But it's, man. And you and, know what? Looking back at that, that room was not only filled with great people, that room was filled with performers, oh, yeah. <laughs> people that knew what it was like mm -hmm. to have to go out and not just sing hit songs to entertain an audience, but to entertain an audience. And I watched the look on Johnny Russell's face, and I yep. watched Skeeter Davis, yep. and I watched these people just come alive yep. because this is what they did. And nobody exemplified that more than little Jimmy Dickens. Oh. <laughs> Old Cold Tater? That'd be all right. Sounds good to me. How much of it do you want? Much as you want to give us. Ooh, let's see. The whole tater. <laughs> the whole tater? <laughs> that takes a while. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Sing as much as you want. When I was a little boy around the table at home, right. I remember very well when company would come. I would have to be right still until the whole crowd ate. My mama always said to me, Jim, take a tater away. And taters never did taste good with chicken on the plate. But I had to eat them just the same. And that is why I look so bad. I have these beauty ways. Because I always had to take an old cold tater away. Yeah, I hoped that I'd starve to death before my time would come. All that chicken they would eat and just leave Jim the mud. The feet and neck are all that's left upon the china plate. It makes you pretty darn weak to take an old cold tater in the way. And taters never did taste good with chicken on the plate. But I had to eat them just the same. That is why I look so sad. I have these beauty ways because I always had to take an old cold tater away. And then the preachers, they would come to stay a while with us. I would have to slip around for raising a little fuss. In fear that I might spill the beans or break a china plate, my mama always said to me, Jim, take a tater and wait. And taters never did taste good with chicken on the plate, but I had to eat them just the same. And that is why I look so sad I have these beauty ways, because I always had to take an old, old tater and You're the only man I know that uh, you got your nickname from the song. You've been called Tater ever since that came out. You know who gave me that nickname? Who did? Hank Williams Sr. Really? Yes, sir. 
walking down the street one day and he says, Tater, let's go in the store here and buy something. <laughs> and I've been Tater ever since. Isn't it true that he wrote, Hey, good looking for you? Yes, he did. Well, not for you, not because you was good looking, but I mean, <laughs> <laughs> he wrote the song. We, we, were, we were riding along in an uh, airplane with Minnie Pearl and her husband, Henry Cannon, on our way to Wichita, Kansas. He said, Tater, you need a hit song. I said, Lord knows that. I need a hit song. He said, I'm going to write you one. Get a piece of paper. So Minnie Pearl gave us a piece of paper, and I had a pencil, and he started writing, Hey, good looking. And in 30 minutes, it was done. He said, now record that, that'll make you a hit. And I intended to do that. A week later, we were in the old studios at WSM for the Friday Night Frolic. They said, Tater, I cut your song today. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, much obliged, Harm. <laughs> Appreciate that. <laughs> what a friend. <laughs> I told you, didn't I? You're going to learn more about country music and Larry Black's looking back than you ever thought was possible. Who knew that that's how Hank Sr. wrote that song? Boy, there's going to be more. We got bunches of this stuff coming. So make sure you subscribe to Looking Back with Larry Black. Thank you for joining us.